Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is going to be your December love reading. Thank you all for tuning in. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. Um, yes, we're going to do something a little different here. I've already prayed, I've already shuffled the cards just to cut out some of the time on the film and um, we're going to get right into your reading. Just please remember this is a general reading, will not resonate with every single person. Just flip the rolls if you have to, if you are a cross watcher. This could be for you. Okay. All right. Sagittarius, what's going on in the month of December for you? Whew, Sagittarius. Three of Swords. Okay. Def oh, definitely some heartbreak, some struggling. Oh, my God. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. Could be... This could be a home situation. This could be a soulmate, twin flame, all that. But you're not doing very good. I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that three of swords and I'm not feeling the ten of wands. But we'll find out what's going on. Um, the strength, I like that the strength is here though. So that makes me feel better about it. Sorry, I'm just trying to like make sure this is a pleasing picture. Easy on the eyes. Yeah, the, I'm glad the strength is here, Leo energy. Um... You're being strong, you're being brave, okay? The Knight of Cups, many of you, I uh, will clarify, you could have made an offer, or this could be you being the ideal person, romantic, you know, fulfilled in your emotions. But let's see, why is this Three of Swords here? There's definitely some disappointment or heartbreak. I don't want to do this. Ace of Coin. Oh, Six of Wands in reverse. Okay. Um, okay. I feel like you're ready for something new. You have been heartbroken. You have been disappointed with the Six of Wands in reverse. Um, like this heartbreak, there, there, it was a, a, it caused some kind of delay or postponement. Maybe in a new beginning. Maybe in you receiving some type of reward or prosperity. Right, you being happy. Like it just kind of kicked it into like this energy like a, a post moment like a delay it didn't stop it it just postponed it for some reason and it could be because you know this three of swords is low vibration even though you're human and you know we feel these things it does come off um it does lie on that low vibrational frequency which can halt your blessings and your abundance and your manifestations, okay? Why is this Ten of Wands here? Why is this Ten of Wands here? Why the Ten of Wands? Oh my God. Oh, Sagittarius. Oh. Definitely dealing with this hurt. Oh my God. Feeling betrayed. Feeling, feeling like a failure. Let down. You're exhausted. You're tired. Like there's... Whatever you're dealing with is a burden. Okay? <sighs> mm. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. But, but the strength card is here. Okay? It does tell me that you are having a hard time with something. Why the strength card? But that's okay. That's okay. You 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 have the strength, okay? Why the why the strength card? You're being brave, you're being strong. There's the hermit. Ha, ah, thank you. Okay, I'm happy to see the hermit is there. Cuz the hermit is so One thing I love about the hermit is he's not wallowing, doing nothing. You know, he is trying to come out of something. He's trying to figure it out. He is being conscious and aware. He may be spending time alone, but he is tapping into that inner strength. He is tapping into that inner wisdom. Okay. The hermit is not to be mistaken for some weak person just because I'm kind of staying to myself in my feelings. I'm just trying to figure it all out. I'm trying to, Ooh, uh, Trying to be strong, trying to find a way to continue to be strong. And sometimes we just got to be by ourselves. We just need that alone time. Okay, why the Knight of Cups? There's water energy. Why the Knight of Cups? Whoa. Okay, I'm not going to take all those. 
why is the knight of cups okay whoa okay see there's that three of swords this is the ace of wands okay what is this the queen of wands see oh my god you guys spirit is just letting me know you are terribly heartbroken you are so dealing with something that has affected your heart in a major way like i'm getting mm. Mm. but you're the queen of wands okay you are the queen of wands and one thing the queen of wands is that i really love is that she is confident right and she is very focused and i like this energy i have two aces ace of coin ace of wands i feel like you you're heading towards something new you may not be in that overcoming state but here's i feel like it's a start okay here just tells me that you're getting there you're not there yet though you're definitely not there here okay but something stopped you in your tracks big time some heartbreak disappointed but disappointment betrayal i'm getting i want to clarify these even more let's see tell us about this ten of swords whoa that's a lot spirit tell us about this ten of swords please there it is two of swords okay some of you are, you're trying to protect your feelings. You may be blocking your emotions, not really trying to feel all that three of swords, heartbreak, disappointment right now. Um, I think you are blocking those emotions because you are in this hermit energy. Because you're trying to gain your strength. You're trying to be strong. You know what I'm saying? I want to know, tell, tell us about this ace of coin. Okay, so the seven of wands tells me... Um, I feel like you gave up on something. You gave up on something. Yeah, you're, wow. Wow. Like, I get, I get very strong energy, you guys. Like, like, you guys are strong. Even though you go through something, you're still strong because what I'm getting from this Knight of Swords reverse with the Seven of Wands in the reverse is like, You've given up on obsessively thinking about something, maybe about this situation. Like you're not obsessing over any over it anymore. Let me see how can I get these in there. Tell us about this six of wands reverse, and then we'll get we're gonna get you some advice. There's a strength card again. Okay. So when I say you guys are strong, I'm not just saying that. I see that very clear. It's very clear to me in these cards. You're not. One of those people who's going to let disappointment, failure, betrayal slow you. I mean, stop you, right? I get it slowed you down. It may have like put you, you know, you're kind of in a slump. You're kind of wallowing a little bit, but I'm not getting stopped, right? You're. Not, it's not debilitating you. That's deep, y'all. That's real deep. Tell us, tell us about this. Tell us about this Ace of Wands. What is this about? There it is. It has not stopped you. Two of Cups. I feel like you still want love. I still like, I feel like you still, some of you could have met somebody. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. I could, I could read it both ways. You've met somebody. You're starting something new. But with this Knight of Cups, it looks like you're still moving in that direction of love, of a new, be, a, be, a new beginning, something very passionate, something that you can profit from, something you, something you get it's an energy you get something from, okay? This is not a one-sided thing. Not with that two of cups, it's not. Is that equal give and take? You're still wanting this. So this hasn't stopped you. This heartbreak has not stopped you. Wow. Like you have, it's not stopping you. Like you're still going to be that knight of cups. That emotional, the emotion is still there. The romantic person is still there. You're still a good person. You're still going to follow your heart. That's what I'm getting. I, I feel like you're still going to follow your heart. Hey, I still want love. I'm still going to go for it. 
but you're not feeling it all the way though. I feel like you are masking some of these emotions to cope, right? Which is natural, we do that. You could be distracting yourself, watching something funny, talking, I don't know, whatever it is that you do to cope, just make sure it's something healthy, right? You need to pick up a hobby, like go cook something, go exercise. Um, that's fine. That's We have to do that because some pain is unbearable with the Ten of Swords right there with the Ten of Wands and the Three of Swords. Yeah, it's, um, sometimes it's unbearable. So just make sure it's healthy. Make sure it's not like overindulging in liquor and food. Like you want to still be healthy, but you know, they're healthy coping mechanisms. Okay, so let's get you, let's get you some advice. Spirit, what advice do you have for Sagittarius. Wow, that's good. You guys are strong. I love it. Oh my God. Even in all your disappointment, your heartbreak, your pain, I still see your strength. I still see your strength. What advice do you have? Uh -oh, what advice do you have for Sagittarius? What advice do you have for Sagittarius? What advice do you have for Sagittarius? You're not obsessing over this thing anymore. You're trying to move in, into your new beginning. What advice do you have for Sag? There we go. King of Cups. All right. King of Cups, that is a Scorpio card. You're moving along, but let's see. King of Cups says, let love rule, okay? Lead with your compassion. If you're thinking of taking a relationship to a deeper level, this card says yes. Express your sensitivity. Okay. You strong and mighty ones. Yes. So, let le let love lead. Okay. Don't let your pain lead. Don't let the betrayal, the, the, the thoughts, the feelings toward whoever hurt you. Don't let them lead. Don't let that lead you. So, tell us about this King of Cups for advice. Whoa. Tell us about this King of Cups for advice. Two of Wands. So, you have a... You have a, the two of wands is like assessing your life, right? Which direction do I want to go in? You have a choice. I love this because that's exactly the first word that came into my mind is choice. Life is all about choice. We choose to stay in this three of swords or we choose to find a coping mechanism, right? We choose to be strong and I like your choosing to be strong. One thing I do like when I see when spirit is telling me what you guys are doing, how you're approaching this, and then when you get your advice, is literally telling you to do what you've already been doing. Like you're you you're already strong. Here is just telling you to, you know, look at your life's direction, make a choice. You know, and I feel like that's what you guys are doing. Lead with love. Now I don't know if you are entirely leading with love. But I, I, I feel like you are gathering the strength so that you can. Because I have the Knight of Cups here with the Ace of Wands with the Two of Cups. Like, I feel like this is a person who leads with love. This is a person that follows their heart. So I feel like you're already doing what Spirit has advised here. So, Sagittarius, that is actually very, very beautiful. Like, this didn't stop you. Like, you still have... A heart that loves. You still have a heart that is compassionate. Mm, very nice, y'all. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. Come back and visit me. And um, I will see you guys next time. Mwah! Deuces.